Hey guys, what's going on? This is Linus here and in this video I'm going to be showing you guys how to enable the live effects straight in your camera app if you have the iPhone 4 or any of the iPads. So guys, this is a feature that did come with iOS 7 but it only works on the iPhone 4s and up, the iPod Touch 5th generation and none of the iPads. So guys, as you can see in my bottom right hand corner, I do have the button to open the photo effects. So if I just tap on that, as you can see, I do get to see all the effects appear on my screen. So if I just tap on Chrome, as you can see, it does add that effect straight away. So if I just do that once more and go into process, as you can see, it does change. And I'll just take a picture right now and then go into it. Now, as you can see, my photo does have the effect. Now this will work on all devices that don't have this effect and that are updated to iOS 7. So let me just open up Cydia and show you what to do. Alright guys, once you do have Cydia open and everything has loaded up, all you have to do is just go into search and search for live effects enabler. So guys, as you can see it did appear and if I just tap on it real quick, as you can see there is a button saying modify right now, obviously because I do have it installed. And if I just scroll down, as you can see it is available in the Big Boss repo and it is free. So as you can see it does require iOS 7 as I just said before and it does enable the live effects filter feature in camera app for unsupported devices including the iPhone 4 and all iPad models that are of course able to update to iOS 7. This tweak is not useful in other supported devices because they are kept with the feature by default. No need to install this tweak. There are no options to configure and as you can see in the screenshots it does have an iPad taking pictures and if you just go into the filters you can also use that. And basically that's about it for this video guys. So if you did enjoy and if you were able to enable the live effects in your camera app on your iPhone 4 or any of your iPads then please give this video a thumbs up it does help me out a ton. And if you guys would like to see more great tutorials like this then definitely be sure to hit subscribe as you will be the first one to see any videos that I do upload to YouTube. So guys thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.